Hey everyone, it's Jasenia. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a setup video, which I am very, very excited about because they're probably one of my favorite videos to do, mostly just because I really like setting up new planners. And then I also just love watching them. So I'm very much looking forward to this video. I will go ahead and insert some timestamps here for you guys because I will go ahead and walk through the actual planner first so you guys know what I'm working with and then I do want to do a couple of size comparisons, not too many, but I will do a couple and then we'll go ahead and set up the whole planner and then I'll do a quick flip through at the very end. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So this is the planner that I am going to be working with. It is new to me and I just love it so, so much. It's from the Foxy Fix and it is a number five, which is commonly called a B6. And it is the lush leather in the snow color. As you can see, if I go ahead and do that, it does have some texture to it. It's a very soft, squishy leather. I always say it's just a very comfortable leather because it's just so soft and kind of floppy. And I don't mean that in a bad way. It, it does have a lot of layers as you can see there. So it definitely does maintain a nice structure to it, but it just feels really soft and squishy. So I really, really enjoy this leather so, so much. And it's quite hard to see on camera, I feel like, but I did get light pink stitching. It's an accent that I've really, really been loving on all of my planners. It's just a really small detail that I think is really pretty if you are a fan of pink like me. And then I do have a J embossed on the front there, and that's in pink foil. And then I have the Fox and Pip bow embossed on the spine, also in pink foil. And then I have a pink elastic on there. And I don't know that I mentioned, but it is a compact size. So what that means is the spine is a little bit more narrow and it has four elastics in it, whereas a wide would have six elastics. So this is a little bit of a downsize for me. I usually work with a wide, but I've decided to kind of separate out into multiple planners. So I'm moving into a compact and I'm really, really looking forward to to this change and I will be doing probably a follow-up video once I get all of my planners set up showing you what I'm working with so you guys can see kind of how I've organized I guess my life but that's the reason why I've moved into a compact is just because I'm starting to separate out my planners for different functions so I'm very much looking forward to that and I do have the standard kind of crisscross pockets in here which all the lush planners have and then the only add that I have is a card pocket just on the front I leave the back pretty plain for the most part. I just usually store stickers back here and a couple of things, so I don't really need a whole lot. I do like to have the card pocket on the front though because I think it's really nice for decorating, so I definitely like having the card pocket on the front to all my planners. And then I do have this giant pocket back here, which the Lush Leathers all have as well. And that's pretty much the full planner there. So that's what we're working with. So I did want to do a little size comparison for all of you who have been asking. I figure a lot of you probably have had or have seen an Erin Condren Life Planner because they are pretty popular. I still use mine for memory keeping. So I wanted to just do a little size comparison so you guys could see how they look together next to each other. This is the B6 number five and then this is the Erin Condren. I do think that the B6 was a, a very easy transition for me to make from from this to this, I found it a good size to kind of step away from and be able to, to carry it around. So I really enjoy the B6 so, so much. I find that they just have different purposes, but that's what they look like next to each other. And then the only other planner that I pulled out to, to share with you is my A6 planner, which this is a number three on the Foxy Fix website. And this is the planner that I made so that if I ever need to take a planner with me somewhere, this is the one that I will take with me. It is just a little bit smaller. It's not a ton smaller, but it is definitely smaller. So if you have a, you know, a medium sized purse, maybe this definitely fits in really nicely. Although the B6 can be carried as well, but this is just a little bit smaller and it's a little bit easier to kind of take along with you. 
So that's what those two look like next to each other in case you all were wondering. That is the little size comparison I have for you guys here. So let's go ahead and start setting this up. I did pretty much prep everything almost entirely. I was so excited about this video, or not this video, but just this planner that the moment I hauled it, I went ahead and pulled out the inserts that I knew I wanted to use in this planner out of the planner I was currently using at the time and stuck them in here. So I've kind of been using this planner for a little bit, but it was not decorated, it just had my inserts in it, so. Anyhow, all of the inserts that I am going to be showing are printables from my shop, so I will kind of show you what they are so you guys can see what inserts I am continuing to use in this planner in particular, but of course you can get inserts from many different places. So anyhow, this is my weekly insert, which I'm sure you all are pretty familiar with if, if you're familiar with my channel. So I just have my weekly overview and then the weekend and a few list sections at the back. So that's the insert that I'm using. And I've got another insert in here that I've been testing out that I'm gonna take out because it's making it really bulky. I like to test inserts for a while before I actually figure out what I'm doing with them. So that is going to go in the front just because I flipped to it the most and then I did print out my little covers for these. I just foiled them. So this one says May June and it's got the little bow at the end. So I'm just going to put that on top. I, I guess I could take out the other cover but I didn't, I didn't print it to be able to actually do that so that's fine. And I do have this gorgeous, gorgeous vellum that my friend Laura from My Newest Addiction made for me. I'm so in love with this. I just think it's perfect. And this is a little sneak of a kit, I believe, that she's going to be working on. She probably has a few other things that will be coming before, but I'm so excited for this. And I don't think she's going to be selling the vellum in her shop, but there is going to be a little kit or something that goes, that coordinates with this. And because this is vellum, I did want it to be in the front and I try not to put vellum in the front or without protection because I do get nervous that I'm gonna ruin it, especially because I didn't make this and that means I can't reprint it. So I do wanna protect it a little bit. I'm going to be putting this piece of acetate on top of it. And I just made this acetate for myself. I just went ahead and drew some little stars and tossed in some Mickey heads so that I could make it kind of cute. I wanted, I was just gonna put plain acetate on top of it, but I thought that was kind of boring. So I went ahead and did that. That way it has a little bit of a purpose and it doesn't interfere with the, with the graphics on the beautiful vellum. So that is my first insert and little section there. I am gonna try to keep this fairly simple. I don't want it to be too, too much. And I did really want this whole planner to just be really pink and really me and very, very much just stuff that I love. <laughs> and so anyhow, this is my second insert, which I think I, I know I printed out a cover that says pre-plan. Hold on. Okay. I just found it on the table behind me. So I printed out one that says pre-plan because weekly is the one that this insert comes with, which it does look like this. This is kind of a newer insert and I've been testing out for a while, but I love this insert so much and I did foil the whole thing and I've been using it for a pre-planning little something and I did make sure that there was space to put like that skinny, simply gilded bow washi and or not bow washi, just any washi. I have a hard time saying simply gilded without bow. It just comes hand in hand. <laughs> so anyhow. That is the next insert. I do like to keep my pre-plan insert behind my weekly insert just because I can flip back and forth. And whenever I have something that I am going to be, that I know is coming up, but I'm not, it's, I'm not on that week, then I go ahead and just jot it down in here very easily. So I'm gonna cover that with this vellum, which was also a gift from my friend Laura, my newest addiction. This is from her succulent blooms kit and she printed it out on vellum for me and I think it is so, so stunning. So that was these two vellums. When she sent them to me, I knew automatically that they were gonna go into my next planner setup because they were just so perfect. And I do want to cover this with some bows because 
you're familiar with me, you know everything needs bows on it. So this is just some acetate that I printed with bows and then I foiled them. So that it just pulled from another, an older setup that I already had. I actually didn't make a ton of stuff for, for this setup. I feel like a lot of the times I'm printing and making a lot of things, but I had quite a few things from older setups that I went ahead and recycled. And then I had a few things from friends that I put in here. So it ended up being a really easy planner to kind of pull together. Anyhow, I've got my memory insert here. I already put on my little cover there. And this is just a perpetual calendar that looks like that. And I use this to jot down one memory every single day. It helps me keep track of things for when I fill out my memory planner. And I'm going to toss this light pink vellum on top of it. This I had printed out a long time ago and I just took some vellum that I had and printed a pink page on my printer so I got pink vellum because I couldn't find the perfect pink that I really liked so I just did it myself and that was again from an old setup and this was also from an old setup that I already had and this vellum is from I think it's from scrapbook.com and it's so nice it's a quite a thick sturdy vellum and it's got these cute bold gold polka dots on it so I'm gonna use that and I do wanna put a dashboard around this one. I think it's the only dashboard, yeah it is. It's the only dashboard that I'm gonna be using in this setup. It's just one of these clear ones. This one is from Foxy Fix. You can get them from different places. And I have a ton of these. So they do load on the interior on the sides there. And I'm going to use that to pop in a few things here. The first thing I have is this, which I think is so, so cute and really genius. It's just a giant bow and how much more perfect can you get? This is from a shop called Heart and Hustle Planning, I believe. I'll definitely link everything down in the description below. I saw Maria from Two Little Bees use that in her planner and I thought it was so, so perfect. So I went ahead and picked one up for myself. I have a second one as well because it was too good to only have one. The next thing I'm gonna do is I wanna make a cup, a little photo page. So I have this paper, which is scrapbook paper from Michaels. I feel like this has been really difficult to find again. I found this once and I pretty much bought the whole shelf. <laughs> Almost, I bought so many pages and after I hauled it, I went, I went back to Michaels and I have not been able to find it again. So if you guys can find it, that is awesome. But I have not been able to locate it again. I Every time I go, I see the shelf because I can see the the little tag on there, but the actual paper has, is out. Anyhow, but it is from Michaels. If you if you are able to find it, it would be there. It's super cute. I did go ahead and print out a few photos. One of my mom, one of me, my brother. These are just older photos and I printed them in black and white. I did go ahead and foil some little, I stuck them on because I wasn't sure how everything was gonna get sized. So I kind of sort of already figured this out. But I made these little, I don't know, sayings. So this one says, I got it from my mama. I mean, I didn't make up the sayings, but I typed them out on the computer and I went ahead and foiled it using my mink machine or yeah, machine. Oh, it sounds weird to say machine. So I'm just gonna put some tape on the back of that. I am using my Tombow mono permanent adhesive roller, which I really, really like this. And I think I'm going to, I'm not gonna stick this down very well just yet because I want to get this one in there as well which this one I just typed out my brother has the coolest sister yikes be easier if I probably opened the <laughs> the little lid there right and I'm gonna put this one at the bottom I just like to have photos it's kind of like having photos in your wallet or something just makes your planner nice and personal and cute I have different photos in my other planners, so I just kind of spread them across. All right, I think that looks nice. Now I'm gonna do that and I'm not gonna be able to get them back up, so it's gotta be good. 
All right, I'm gonna pop this right in the back here. I did trim everything down to size beforehand. B6 is about five inches by seven inches, but I do trim it a little bit smaller when I'm placing stuff inside of these dashboards because if you don't trim it a little smaller, it is so difficult to get them inside. It doesn't really fit because I think the dashboard is exactly five inches by seven inches, so the pages need to be just a pinch smaller. So I just trimmed that down beforehand. So there's that one. And then I did want to include a an art print. This one is from Holly Nichols. And I am going to put this one inside. Oh, actually, before I do that, because I did want to stick this journaling card in there as well, which this one says, find magic in the ordinary. And this I got with an order from Cloth and Paper a long time ago and I just sort of saved it, but I wanted to put this on the back and since the card is smaller, I didn't want to put an extra piece of paper, so I'm just gonna go ahead and stick that on the back side, let me see. It'll just have a little white border, which I think will look nice, but because this is an art print, I just, I don't want it to be stuck there forever. So I'm going to go ahead and just switch out this cartridge. Oh, I'm not pressing the right thing. I was like, why isn't it coming out? And I'm gonna stick in this other one, which this one is a removable adhesive. That way I can go ahead and take this off if I decide to do that at some point and I'm not stuck with this card on the back of this gorgeous print forever. The glue is quite gummy, so it removes really easily. And then you can also just kind of roll it off if that makes any sense quite easily. So. That's perfect. I just put a little bit in the center because the dashboard will hold it in place. That's just sort of so it helps from shifting too much when I'm doing things like this. And the Holly Nichols print is also five inches by seven inches. That's what I purchased for this size planner, but I do trim it down just a tiny bit, like I said, just to get it inside of this dashboard. So. That's what that looks like. And I'm gonna go ahead and just pop this around that one. And that's my third insert there. My last insert I kept fairly simple. This is just my monthly insert. I'll go ahead and show you May because I haven't, I haven't shown this, I don't think. But that's what my May looks like. I love, love, love how this turned out just because I'm so in love with this artwork. It actually matches the vellum there. So I, I just think it's so, so pretty. Again, this is from my newest addiction, this whole thing. I used some of the B6 kit and then some of her weekly kit to, to do this. And I just think it turned out so pretty. Laura's monthly kits have just been so good this year. I mean, all of her stuff is always good, but I feel like she sometimes she does monthlies and then sometimes she doesn't. And this year she's been doing all of them and I just have been so happy. So anyways, I have my little cover there. And then the only thing I'm gonna put on top of this one is just this piece of vellum here. And I'm not gonna cover it with anything since it is at the back, I'm not too worried about it. And this is just a pen that I drew that I went ahead and made into some vellum for myself. I just made it into a pattern and printed out the vellum. So. That is pretty much the entire thing. So let's go ahead and just pop these into the elastics and then I can start working on the pockets and some accessories. This paper is also from Michaels. It's so so pretty. I have seen this when I've gone back a few times So I think you'll probably still be able to find it and it's this really pretty pink paper with these gold Floral outlines and I went ahead and cut this down to five inches by seven inches The paper is actually 12 by 12. So it's a pretty large sheet. So I got two of these out of it So I'm gonna go ahead and put the second one in the back pocket here I always like to try, I don't do, I don't know that I've done it every time, but I do like to try to match the front and the back papers here because I think it kind of ties the whole thing together. So that is that. I do have this card. This is a journaling card from Simply Gilded that I'm obsessed with. 
I have a couple of them, so I think I'm, I have this in my other planner and I definitely wanted it in this planner. It shows a lot more in my other planner, so I'm not too worried about that. I just wanted to kind of layer it in there. I just want to know that it's there. <laughs> so I've got those two things in there. And then I had a little scrap piece of this bow paper again, and I'm gonna go ahead and just toss that in here so that I have something in my pocket. I always like to put a piece of paper and have it be a little bit on the tall side so that it shows more. And then I also like to clip things higher up so that I can kind of cover more space since I know a lot of other planners like Kate Spade and things like that have multiple pockets, but since these don't, I like to kind of cut paper so that I can give myself some height, if that makes any sense. So I did pull out a few die cuts and I always have this that I keep in pretty much all of my planner setups. This is just a cute little paper clip that Amanda from the Fox and Pip made me ages ago. When she was doing custom, she did a, she just did a little favor for me and made my custom into a paper clip, which is so sweet. And then these die cuts are both from her as well. She sent these to me in a happy mail package and I just love them so, so much. I'm gonna just stick this one up in here. Just have it kind of peek out. And then this one I love, it's a little nod to Harry Potter. I love having the nods to Disney and Harry Potter and have them incorporated in a setup that's really just pink and very me. So I get that little that little nod to to some things that I really love without having to have, you know, Harry Potter colors in here. So I just think that's really cute. So this one just says, this is a porky. She does have a digital version, like a digital clip art version of this in her shop, if you guys do like that. It doesn't, it comes in different colors. So I don't know that you can foil that one, but you can print it out in different colors, which I have one of those in my other planner setup as well. I just really like it, <laughs> it's so cute. And then in the back, I did want to put a little washi card that I made for myself. This was, the actual card was a gift from Amanda. She sent it to me in some happy mail. She sent me a beautiful happy mail package that I was just floored by. She's so talented and she sent me some really beautiful things, but you'll see something else in just a second. But this was in it and I went ahead and put some Simply Gilded washi tapes on it that I thought matched with my setup and then a little Clever Gal Crafts Fox and Pip bow at the top there. Super adorable. And I'm just gonna stick that in the pocket back there. If you are looking for washi cards, Sparkly Paper Co. has washi cards in her shop. You can follow her on Instagram to know when she has some releases of it, but I actually just bought a few from her and they're super, super nice quality and they're really cute. She has a, quite a few different colors. The next thing that I'm gonna pop in here is just a bookmark that I wanted to put in my memory section. I'm just gonna to toss it on a on a uh, blank page for the time being, but I made this off camera mostly because I had no idea what I was doing and how I was gonna do this, but this top section was actually part of the Happy Mail that Amanda had sent me, and she put some of her bows at the top there so that's what those look like and she sent me this whole gold piece so I went ahead and put one on the front and one on the back and sandwiched the bow paper from Michaels in between it and I had cut the paper down to be able to fit in the planner like that so that the bows just peeked out at the top. I love this thing that she did for me and she was so sweet. She made me a few of them and she also made me some with my name and some other little sayings like to do and today, things like that and I'm just obsessed with it. I saw her do a little flip of her planner and she had something similar to this, but they went on the side and they were for dividers. And I think she said she might consider putting just like that piece in her shop, but I'm not 100% sure. Definitely follow her on Instagram or join her Facebook group because, well, one, her shop is just so good, but also she has so many good ideas in her planner. I love watching her flip through. She's really, very creative. So this little card is actually a bookmark. This was from a Two Little Bees kit and I'm just gonna stick it in this pocket here. This is just a clear adhesive pocket from Target. So as you can see there, it just adheres to anything and it's got a little clear pocket on there. Usually they're in the dollar spot of Target and you can find them around back to school time. And I know a few shops sell things similar to it. I think Planner Press does. And then this is a little digital 
artwork that I went ahead and printed for myself and foil the lashes. I'll make sure to link the shop down below because I can never remember the shop name. And I do want it to kind of sit at the top, so I'm going to go ahead and just paper clip it up here using a K & Co XOXO wide paper clip. I'm gonna kind of center it. All right. So that is that. I'm just gonna leave that as it is and I can stick stickers or anything else I want in here as time goes. And then Amanda also sent me my name printed out, which I think I'm just gonna honestly just stick up in here. <laughs> as if I don't wanna glue it down or anything because I don't wanna ruin the actual the actual bookmark that I made. I hope it lasts forever. I'm not really good at laminating things and I've recently tried laminate. I've been laminating with my mink machine because my laminator went kaput. So <laughs> that that did not go well. I don't know what happened to it. It just stopped working. It heats up, but it doesn't heat up enough to actually laminate anything. Anyways, I do want to stick a few little clips inside of here. So I pulled out a few. So here is May. I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in the corner of the page. I try to put them in different spots. That way, when you look at the top, they're sort of distributed and they don't cover each other. And then this one is another Kanko XOXO paper clip. It's one of the smaller ones. And I'm going to use this to mark my pre-plan page. So I'll just put it on a blank page for now just to get it in there. I actually think this might be the right week, so that is good. So those are all of my clips. I think that's it for the inside. I think it is, yeah. So I'm just gonna stick a few things on the elastic out here. I have one of these swags from Fur and You. Lisa makes these beautiful, beautiful felt flowers and she does these ones that she calls swags and they have a little velcro on the back and you can just stick them over your elastic and kind of sandwich it in there. So you've got this beautiful little floral on the front of your planner. I'm obsessed with these, they're so, so pretty. And then I did also wanna put in here my little name charm. This is from a an Etsy shop called Caitlin Minimalist and her shop does custom jewelry so you can write different words on jewelry and write your name. I'm trying to figure out what it, which direction this goes in. And I did ask her if she would put a lobster clasp on this one for me, which is this little thing up here instead of a necklace because this was originally a necklace listing and she went ahead and did that for me so I can put it on my planner. So I'll just kind of leave that there so it can hang out on the side. So that is the whole setup. I'm very excited to go ahead and flip through this. So I've got my swag and charms there on the front. And inside here, I've got all of my pretty papers and some die cuts with my little clip. The acetate that I went ahead and made for myself there. I've got this gorgeous vellum for my friend Laura and my foiled bow cover. It says May, June on the front there and then this is my weekly insert that I'm using with my Pigtails and Pockets felt clip bow. And then just the back of all of those things. Then here I've got some more acetate. This one has some gold foiled bows on it. And then this beautiful succulent bloom vellum from my friend Laura as well. Then I've got my pre-planned bow cover on this one. Let's flip here. Here is my pre-plan weekly that I've been using. That of course I foiled so it's so blinding. And I'm just gonna flip, there's the back of all of those things. Then I've got my really beautiful bow dashboard here from Heart and Hustle Planning. I really love this so much. And then some personal photos in here on top of some Michael's bow paper. We've got some polka dot gold and my pink vellum there. And this is my memory insert. Again, I have my cover there so it all coordinates. And then I've just got my perpetual calendar in there with my beautiful bookmark that I love. 
And then just the back of all of those things. And I've got my Holly Nichols print on this side in the back of the dashboard. And then a journaling card that I saved from an order that says find magic in the ordinary. And then the pen vellum that I drew and printed for myself on the last insert, which is my monthly insert. I've got my cover there and then that's what this insert looks like. This is just May, but it's what that is looks like. And then we just have the back here with the same paper that I had on the front and then a washi card. So that's my whole planner. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. It's definitely, I just love watching different planner setups. So I really just enjoy these so, so much. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching and I will catch you all in my next video. Bye.